We've got it. At last. This always happens. I'm on my way back from work and I quickly check Instagram and I see that the Assassin's Creed Instagram page has once again dropped some very crucial information. And today, we have finally gotten some parkour gameplay. Not the insider scoop thing that some YouTubers were sent. This is at least a good 30 seconds of actual parkour showcasing. So today, we're going to react to it and then we'll talk about it. Let's go. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Everything's happening. Uh, right. Lots of flips. Similar animation from Valhalla. Oh, I did not like that. I did not like that fall. That was... God. Ah. Uh, uh, it's very floaty. It's very floaty. I don't know. Where's the weight? There's no weight to it. Oh, I don't know. Ah, I don't know how I feel about this. That was not... Okay, that was cool. That was cool. I like how they've integrated that. And then it starts again. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. There's a lot to unpack there. The animations are exactly the same as Mirage. Like, uh, we can't deny that. It's exactly the same as Mirage. It still has this very weightless nature to it. I feel like she doesn't have much weight to her. There should be more of an impact when she hits the ground. There's not even like a sound effect. It's it's just nothing. There's no sound effect when she hits the ground. Also, when she's doing these flips and stuff, I get that it's meant to bring back the sort of Assassin's Creed 3 and 4 thing where you could do fancy parkour moves over uh, fences and that, but it just kind of looks pointless. And also, she slows down a lot in midair. And it does that thing that Mirage did, where Basm will kind of stop, then do a jump, then stop, then do a jump. And there's like a pause in between. It looks like Nawia kind of does the same thing when she does these flips. It's like there's a set animation and it pauses before it plays the animation to like get her in place or something. It's only by a few seconds, but it's really putting me off. And everything just seems, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's got shades of unity. I mean, unity's the goal here. It has shades of that. But, it's still not 100% there. I'm, I'm very worried, you know, because I think they're trying to hide parkour. I really think they're trying to hide it because I don't think they've done a good enough job. And that's, you know, I'm still going to buy the game. I'm still going to get the game. This is not a deal breaker for me. But I'm just, ah, oh, every time I see, like, snippets of this, I get disappointed. It's good, though. It's not terrible. I like the use of the 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 rope, the grapple rope. That's pretty cool. It reminds me of Syndicus, but they're doing it in a bit more of an organic way. It's okay. I just, it's the animations, and you know exactly how this is going to feel when you're playing it, and it's going to feel stilted. I just, ugh. When they said that they were working on Shadows for like six years or something, I expected a real upgrade in the engine. They're really focused on architecture, they want the buildings, the weather systems, they want all of the, like, foliage and that to look really good. But I think they're really missing a beat with, like, facial animations and character movements and animations on the, the parkour and the free running. I mean, I wonder how Yasuke is going to look in comparison with his combat. I wonder if we're going to get a combat showcase to highlight what Yasuke can do. Because I feel, I've just got a feeling that they've put more effort into the combat than they have with, with Naui's parkour. I think the only thing we have left for Assassin's Creed Shadows, really, that we haven't seen is a story trailer, and that is going to make a massive difference for me, uh, what the story has in store for us. But in terms of gameplay, I, I am disappointed. I am disappointed with what they're doing. And, you know, something I also have an issue with is the way the parkour is influenced by the architecture, because... Part of what made Assassin's Creed Unity so good to play was the open world of Paris being very vertical. There was lots of high buildings, lots of ropes and sticky out bits of wood and, and it was designed for you to enjoy it as a parkour sort of playground. It was not designed to be 100% realistic looking. I mean, France did not have these beams and everything sticking out, but as a game, it made it a lot more entertaining to play. With Assassin's Creed Shadows, I see 100% historical accuracy to the architecture, apart from certain buildings. And uh, unfortunately, 
not much in terms of parkour in mind. I can't see any beams or or rope or anything that would make her parkour more interesting. It looks very realistic. Then again, you know, Mirage had the entire city designed for parkour and that felt good, but looked really stilted and disjointed and I... Ah, I'm just getting shades of that here. I don't see the difference. So what do you think of the parkour in Assassin's Creed Shadows? I know this was a shorter video, but I've got a big video planned that's going to be coming out in the next few days. What do you think of the parkour in Shadows? Are you still looking forward to Shadows? Are you going to buy the game? Or is the parkour and the combat sort of putting you off? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more Assassin's Creed content. And I'll see you in the next video.